Hi everyone. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy 1st of August. Happy, oh my God, what happened to the month? Happy, let's get this camera together. Good morning, Heather. Congratulations on your house. Now listen, I want to tell you this straight up. I want to make something, but it, the way my life is and the way I don't mail stuff out on time, ma'am, you can send me your address and when you get it, you get it. But my heart is in the right place. Just just know that. We're going to go ahead and get started because I am feeling not so well today. First things first, I hope y'all had a great weekend. I hope it was fun. You didn't have too much stress. You got new houses. You got new everything, and it's going well. Uh, I went to the, So I, I am actually in my adulting phase today for some reason. I went to the grocery store. I um, I'm going to clean up some stuff. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope I hope you're well. But yes, Heather, I do want to send you something. You know, you're gonna just be on a list of all those people I'm supposed to be mailing stuff to. I'm gonna get that together. Um, I promise. I promise. I'm gonna get it together. So we're gonna be using this card right here. These cards. I got these in thrift store. I think. I don't know. I would never have bought these in general just because. I can make cards, right? I can make a thank you card. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, it says inside the blank, the mess, blank message, blank inside for a personal message. We can't speak English today, apparently. Our words just don't want to come out. So we got these little envelopes. Now, mind you, I used to make a lot of envelope theme cards, uh, envelope themed everything. So yeah, it looks like this. And I was like, I want to use one of these. We're going to use one of these. We're going to. We're gonna use two of these actually, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it just like this. Now look, I just want to say these cards have already set me up for failure. You see, they off. They are off. We finally move in eleventh. I should have my scrap, my scrap desk surely thereafter. And wait, when you say scrap desk, what does that mean? Is it that big box thing? Is that what you're saying? Or you mean like your work area? Look at this. I just want you to see that this is this is the card. Shoot, at this point, I would do better at making the cards. Cause look, we we're not gonna be bothered by that. We're not gonna we're not gonna be petty, okay? We're gonna let whoever made these cards make it. Cause my cards be like that sometimes too, you know. Um, messed up. Anyway, we're going to do, uh, do one, two, three. I think three is good. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is put a little piece on the inside and then a little piece right here. And of course, we're going to go ahead and glue these ends because they're all blank on the inside. So no worries. As long as we got a good crease, we, we'll worry about the inside later. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Now, look, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was using my creaser. This is not a creaser. This is not a bone folder, and I've ruined it. I'm okay with that. I just need to be mindful of that. Let's fix this light in this crap today. Maybe that, oh, no, I don't like that. Let's see. Let's see. It's a bit off. Yeah. And I'd be worried about my cars being a, less than a bit off. But uh, yeah. So anyway, we're going to take our little uh, bread thing and still same thing with that. Because it wasn't intended for what we do and doing to it. Right. So I, I hope you're feeling naughty. That's what we're doing. Some nautical. We're going to do a nautical themed um, card and we're going to use a kit. I feel like I've used this kit before. Uh, we got it from the no longer... Tuesday morning. I miss Tuesday morning. Uh, I kind of wish, well, I'm quite sure a lot of people wish this, but it's from Echo Park and it's called Sunshine. It says walking on sunshine, actually. Walking on sunshine. You know, sometimes words do elude me. So we got this, this right here, and it's double sided, unfortunately, because unfortunately with Echo Park, it will make you pick, it will make you choose sides. Like it's like you're going to pick the side that you think is the prettiest and don't play with me because we know you okay 
like this one is not too bad. It's like a little radio and it has um, palm trees. So we'll put that to the side. We can use those as our cover pieces. And we got this one, which I would never use um, in a regular setting unless I needed like the sun in this car. Uh, we got some lobsters. Then red. We got ice cream. I don't even think these cars are five by uh, a two. I don't think they're four and a half by five and a quarter. I'm four and a quarter by five and a half. I think they may be off some dolphins, some lines. Now you notice every I always say this: every good pack of paper comes with lines and dots in some form. So let's go ahead and measure this thing out because I don't think. I have a question. What do y'all do with y'all used cards? Like, what are you doing with your used cards? I mean, your made cards. So this is... <sighs> okay, let's see. I have the shakes bad today. I do apologize. So it's five and a half. By three and three fourths, kind of. Hmm. You know what? Do I really want to put myself through that? No, I don't think so. And when I say do I want to put myself through that, do I want to go through the torture of messing with cards that are not properly cut and even? I don't think I want to do that, but we're going to try it out. We're going to see because we can do something else with it. Do you mean the cards I get around the holidays? No, I mean the cards that you, that you uh, make. Like, when you make cards, what do you do with them? Not the ones you get, because some people throw them straight in the trash. And some people take them and they make folders. And some people cut them up and make, like, a collage. I mean, like, when you make cards and you don't send them out. Like, I, you know, like, one could say that I craft a craft. I'm just up here wasting um, resources. And others could say, oh, you're crafting because you're going to get ready to get a whole bunch of stuff together. You So you send every card you make out. Heather. I love that. I don't. I have a big box. I'm going to start mailing them out. Sometimes, though, I just feel like my cards are inadequate. And then I go back like a year or two yet later. I'm like, oh, it held up. But like, you know, you know, I'm using glue right now and it's wonky. And I don't know. And then I feel bad if I send something to one person. I'll send something to another person. I just, I don't know. 95%. Well, 5% is what I send out. Like, I've made my uncle so many Father's Day things. I haven't mailed them out to the man yet. I haven't went to his house and gave them to him. Like, I'm a bad niece. He called me this morning, too. He was like, I just called you because I hadn't heard from you. Now, mind you, we only talk once a week. So, I mean, we talk. We can talk as much as, you know, we like, but we have an uh, obli obligatory phone call once a week. Ever since my aunt passed, he um, has taken up the ham of making sure I haven't lost my dang mind yet. I mean, you would need more than one phone call for that. But, yeah. And I hate to always be like I'm struggling or I'm having issues or this is what's going on. So, I'm like, everything's great. Yeah, nothing's wrong. <laughs> Whereas with my aunt, um, I could tell her more stuff and she'd be like, well, you know. Hi, Tony. How you doing today? Hopefully well. So we're going to erase this little pencil line. So listen, <clears throat> I have a serious question for y'all. A serious question. A for real, for real, like, am I being petty kind of question. All right. So over the week, on last Friday, I took some craft stuff to the craft store, a reuse store. It's called Spare Parts here, where I live, right? Spare Parts. And when I first started going in, going there, a lot of the stuff was much more cheaper than it is now over the years. And they say, they've said that they don't need a lot of, you know, like people have donated so much stuff, like um, say someone donates a bunch of glue and stuff like that. So some of the things they're like, we're not accepting now. I had took a bunch of binders to them last year and gave them the binders because I donate. I, I'm not using them, so I don't want to keep them in the house. And I want them to go to somewhere else. And I like the, I quote unquote, like with a D at the end of it. I liked the premise of it. You're getting things that other people have given you and you get 
make a profit, right? So this week, this Friday, last Friday, I went there and I donated some stuff. Two, two boxes of random stuff like things that you put um storage in and some crafts craft stuff stickers and et cetera et cetera et cetera et cetera and I went I always walk around because I'm always on the hunt for it's it's some stamps that I'm looking for. I'm looking for an Elmo stamp uh nope lies I'm looking for a Grover stamp from Stamp Abilities when they had that at Sesame Street thing that came out of Super Grover. So I'm always looking for that. I feel like someone will eventually get rid of it and I want to get it, you know, because a lot of times you buy these novelty stamps and they're still in good condition, right? They're never in bad condition, right? And then sometimes you just don't treat, you're not a good steward of your money and your stamps and they look like crap. So anyway, I'm always looking for that. And then I'm always looking for like snowman stamp, right? It's the snowman, snowman stamp set from Stampin' Up! and it's retired, that's really pretty and I always um, look for it because a lot of people that do Stampin' Up! tend to get rid of some of their stamps. Not all of them, but some of their stamps. Set, stamp sets. Okay. So we got one. So we got one, two, three, four. All right. We're going to erase this out of here. So, you know, I walk around and they had a few things. And I, and again, I just donated two boxes. So do I really need to be buying any more craft stuff? The answer is no. So I don't need the stuff. So I don't, I try not to buy a lot of craft things anymore. Cause I'm like, I'm going to use up this junk that I have before I buy more. So I think we're going to use this side. Cause I think this will look good like that as a base. Now the problem is. I gotta remember these numbers because this card is small, right? Um, okay, so I, you, you're you right. I don't need it. Want and needing is two different things, right? So uh, let's see. Three and three-fourths is fine. Three and three-fourths is actually fine. And we're gonna do five and a quarter. Three and three-fourths and five and a quarter. So... As I'm walking around, I notice, I notice that I feel like they have a crafter in the background who's like, I need my money back for these craft supplies. Yeah, sometimes sparking something does uh, spark creativity. I bought some, what I bought was some pearl beads. I want to be, I have, an, never mind, we won't even talk about my, my issue with pearl beads. So, as I'm walking around, three and three. Force, I think is what we said. Yeah. I noticed that the prices on the items have all went up. Now, mind you, I had bought a Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz pack of paper from there for uh, two dollars because they have a thing that says ten sheets of paper, two dollars, right? So I, you know, if it's 20 sheets, 20 sheets, you do the math, 10 sheets, blah, 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 or whatever. Um, but I'm like, are you all, have you, what's going on? At first, like say they were selling pens for a dime, now the pens are $2, for example. And I'm like, did you, why have you went up? Like that my, my concern is that, um, did we say five and a half? I think we did. We're going to go a little bit under five and a half. Let's do right here. Um, I feel like they went up and it it bugs me because you all this it's none it's all donation. It's like Goodwill. And and before you say, well, Goodwill has employees, these people all volunteer at the spot. So it's not like they probably have one real worker, maybe two real workers. You know, they probably have a manager and some other people that actually work there, but they're not like employees for real, for real. They're volunteers. And so I'm just Tell me if I'm being petty. I feel like I shouldn't be donating my stuff there anymore. Like I don't give my, I give some stuff to Goodwill reluctantly. I have another spot that I donate stuff to as well. Um, I'm looking for another sheet of paper just so y'all know. So it's a few things that I, I try to, I donate close to a certain spot. I donate close to this church. And they have a free garage sale. So you walk and you buy stuff um, for free or whatever. 
And then, um, I don't know. Just let me know. Am I being petty? I mean, once you get rid of your stuff, it's no longer yours, right? But I just feel like if that's the case, I could give it to someone else that's going to sell the stuff and make profit from it. Um, I don't know. Thinking about it just makes me feel like I'm a whiner. Like, I don't want you selling my stuff for more money. I'll tell you why. Because I saw, a, I saw, listen, I saw a Dollar Tree mesh, mesh thing for $2 there. And I was like, really? And I have a friend that tells me, not everybody knows that Dollar Tree sells craft stuff. Not everybody knows that Dollar Tree sells this, blah, blah, blah. I feel like if you're a crafter, you know what Dollar Tree sells because you're up in Dollar Tree spending your dollars and 25 cents at the Dollar Tree. I don't know. It just kind of bugs me. It's like going to Goodwill and they have stuff for a dollar that from the Dollar Tree. They're selling for $5. It's like Goodwill. Come on. I don't know what y'all think. What y'all think? Am I being silly? You can tell me. You're like, yeah, that's a little bit much. You should let it go. It's not your stuff anymore. You're like, no, I agree. I mean, you don't have to agree with me. I'm not looking for a yes section. Like, yes, I agree, honey. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I'm not looking for that. But I just feel like, I don't know. Because I had, I had really liked what they had said before, they said that this mom had came in, this was a few years ago, had came in and she had like three kids. And if, and the, the person that posted this, I really could resonate with not having money growing up. Shoot, not having money as an adult. But anyway, as not having the money and going somewhere and able to get all the kids something that they really wanted and spending under $5 that made me feel really good because when I donate these things, it makes me happy knowing that someone else that is less fortunate than I am can still go to a place and get things without feeling like they have to break the bank. And I think that's where my issue is. I didn't get that warm fuzzy going in there, seeing Dollar Tree items for $2, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've seen like they have other things in there, some stamping up stuff that I've purchased for $2 when they, when they first opened and now it's at a $10 set. I do don't like, I donate all my clothes to a sh um, the, the church and they give back to the community. So I only, I only donate the clothes to the church unless I'm like, I don't feel like driving over here on this specific day to do this specific thing. So I only give the money. I only donate the clothes to the church. Um, for that very reason, I feel like that's more beneficial and it makes me, I don't want to be like, oh, I am very selfish when it comes to donating. A lot of people donate because they're like, I feel good. I, it makes me feel so good to be able to help because I can't give money, you know? So I don't know. It just, it kind of bugged me. Like if you're going to drop stuff off at Goodwill, you expect the markup, but if you're going to a reuse spot, I don't know. It's another lady that has a booth at one of the stores that I go to. And she, she, I used to give the things to her. Cause I'm like, shoot, if you're going to make some money, make some money. Right. And so a lot of people just donate stuff to her. And I didn't have a problem with that. Cause I knew it was more for her to get profit. Um, and she would always give me like $20 when I donated, I would be like, you want this stuff? And she gave me $20 to give to my son. And again, I feel like that's giving back, but I don't know. Cause some like I don't I would never donate my son's toys because he they're broken. I and I don't believe in giving broken toys to a charity spot. I don't believe in giving holy clothes to any type of place. Like my mom always say, if you're gonna give something away, give something away that you're still willing to have. You just don't need anymore. So that's my my like my gripe, I guess. Brandy's morning conundrum. Because uh -oh. I know some people, you know, it goes to the, I don't know how long y'all have been crafting. I haven't been crafting a super long time. I only been crafting now about, for real, for real, like seven years. I started crafting after my son was born. He's born in 2015. And I started making YouTube videos in 2016. 
um, or maybe the end of 2015, besides my, I made some game videos, <laughs> but, um, so I've been crafting that long, but back in the day, and I think it's still a debate, people used to always say that they gave their mom or aunt a card that they worked, spent hours on, or, you know, the aunt or whoever, someone that they love, their loved one, they worked hard on, and they gave them a card, and they put it up on display, and then they put them in the trash. And everybody was like, it's no longer your card. You can't be mad that they threw the card in the trash. And at first, I was kind of like, no, you should be mad. And then I was like, no, once you finish making something, and you give it or sell it, it's not yours. You saw in 2002, okay. You know what? Let's see. How, how? Oh, I was about to say, how y'all let me do this? But you didn't. I turned it over because I'm crazy. I started crafting 2002. Yeah, I haven't been crafting that long. I have not been crafting that long. But I can't wait to, you know, put some more notches on. Um, but again, I have been considering not paper crafting anymore because paper crafting is expensive. It's very expensive. I don't care what anyone says because paper crafting requires more than one thing. If I was a crocheter, all I need is yarn and needles. That's it. The tool and the material, right? Paper crafting, you need glue, scissors. Don't be a stamp collector like I am. You need stamps, you need ink. I enjoy doing it, don't get me wrong, but I'm just like, do you really need... Speaking of, so I was talking to Wonder and Driven 555, right? Because I could not find my stamp set for yesterday's collaboration. One, two, three, four, five, six. I knew I needed six sheets of paper and I cut four because you know what? Sometimes you just be like, you know what? I'm just going to cut four sheets of paper. No one will notice it because you're talking. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's go ahead and cut this other one down real quick. And we were talking about of course. Um, so I have two things that I really, really like, y'all. And I never do them. And I think I like more of it because it's like a vintage thing than an actual thing that I craft. I like steampunk items. So we're going to start seeing me do more steampunky stuff soon. Um, like coloring and stuff. I just feel like I can't get like the antique color, the bronze or the gold colors. There's so many um, of these images have but i feel like i can i'm gonna look up and do some pastel steampunk because i got pink baby i got orange and yellows i got the pastel colors down but um and sewing stuff like you rarely see me do sewing stuff on here but i like it i have a lot of thread and bobbins that i have collected because i want to make like a little sewing house a wood project oh that's too short that's okay. You know what we're going to... You'll never notice that I screwed this up. You'll never notice it. Never. Maybe. Nope, you won't notice it. Was not paying attention. Running your mouth. That's what happened when you be talking trash. That's what they say. you how to fix that real quick do steampunk that would be fun yeah i can't wait i have a lot of i don't have a lot i have some things but and also one and dreaming has sent me some stuff in the past that i haven't used yet but um i have a problem with um using stuff that people give me i don't know why unless it's something that i is like glue or scissors or something like that i'm like oh look Barbara gave me these scissors and 7,655 years ago, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when it comes to like some stamps, unless I have multiple stamps, I mean, multiple stickers or whatever, I'm like, mm-hmm, y'all ain't gonna see me use them. I'm not using them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know why I'm like that. I got to get out of that mindset too. So yeah, let's see. You, you can donate to shelters. I don't think so. Let's see. I guess it depends. That is a huge markup. It is a huge markup. Um, thank you, Tony. Um, how long have you been crafting? If you don't mind me asking, I mean, you don't have to tell me, it's not any of my business, but so 
so yeah, I, I don't feel like I've been crafting as long as some people have been crafting. All right, so we got this, and what we're gonna do is just green, blue, green, blue, green, blue. And we're gonna put the first messed up page first because then green. There we go. Yep. I really um I had I had bought a coloring book collection from an online website and it's so many pages and some of them are steampunk and I have some steampunk stamps and uh, I'm like yeah we're gonna do this so I was gonna color today but then I was like no let's not color because let's make something to add to the collection of stuff that we don't mail out yet Yeah. Good morning, Samara. You've been crafting for 15 years? Wow. How long have you been crafting, Samara? If you don't mind me asking. If you don't want to tell me, I understand. Be like, girl, you're being too nosy. I just walked up in here. Well, grab a seat. Get your, get your normal seat, you know. VIP, come on in. We'll make room. Make room. You know, Heather, now that you live where you live, maybe you and Wonder and Dreamer could. No, I'm going to be jealous. I want to come. Y'all could plan like a, you know, she probably live on the opposite side. I don't know how far she lived from you, but that would be cool, wouldn't it? I used to live in Virginia. Like all my friends live in places that I used to live, except for a few spots. I'm like, oh, I don't want to live there at all. So we're going to turn this over like that. Maybe five years don't really do much. But when you do create, it's so pretty. It's amazing. I love it. I think that you, um, you know, I feel like you'd be busy. So you ain't going to have no time to create. Hmm. We want this on this end. Oh, there we go. That's nice, just like that. So we're doing some nautical stuff. I do a lot of different crafts, but I love to upcycle, recycle stuff. I also make a lot of junk journals using garbage. You know, I've been um, looking at a few of your... I was like, I'm going to go and stalk her <laughs> because I was looking up... Um, I want to make... So, listen. I don't have the key to success, right? I don't have a key for my success. But I feel like consistency and a goal is always a good start. So uh, next year, I, next year, I'm putting out an atmosphere now. So whatever the evil, the evil beings that stop me from progressing can go ahead and do that now. So I can get, you know, I can get out my own way and make it happen. I plan on doing a lot of crafting because I told y'all next year we will reach our, our watch time and we will get monetized next year. Even though I feel like I should already be there because I make a lot of videos, but I won't be making a lot of collaboration videos. There'll be my own series videos. Yeah, finally, right, um, Heather? Finally. Finally. <laughs> she always does amazing, like amazing, amazing stuff. I think she's a great crafter. I've seen her, well, not recently, because I don't get on Facebook that much. Facebook stresses me out a lot. 
see, it's emotionally draining for me. Um, but I've seen her post things in the past and other groups that we're both a part of. And I'm like, ooh, that's cute. I want to tell y'all something. I haven't, look, full disclosure. I haven't been to Michael's, Joanne, Hobby Lobby, or any craft stores in a little while now. I know I had said I was going to go to, I probably, did I go to the Joanne Fabric? I had to use the restroom, but I didn't go into Joanne's. I ended up going into the Best Buy because I had to get um, the big roommate something for his birthday. Uh, but I really want to, um, maybe I went into one of them. I didn't buy anything, though. I haven't bought anything from the big box craft stores in a while because I've been telling myself, just use the junk that you have. It's okay if it's not the latest and greatest. You don't have to keep up with the um, Melissa's, whoever that is. I just say Melissa because it's a lady versus the Joneses, right? Um, and I was thinking that if Poor Spice had another crack the vault or vented, like go in your stash, everything that I have would be a go in your stash kind of thing. Because <laughs> a lot of my crap is a year old now. A lot of it. I do have some stamp sets that I've purchased. Um, from a local store. But I haven't really been buying stuff like that either. Because you know once you start going through your stuff. And you have boxes everywhere to donate. And you're like this is a lot of junk. This is too much junk. I don't feel like dealing with this junk. That's me. Okay, we got this. I just want to make sure we got this right. So it's it's looking cute. It's looking cute. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these. And we're going to cut it. I don't like... My spines is the issues. I haven't been in a craft store since early May. I don't think that counts, though. Just so you know, Heather. I don't think it counts. I don't think it counts. I hate poor spices foreign video she is making me want to break my no spending with all the cuteness listen i don't buy anything unless it's on sale or i have i don't buy anything i don't buy anything unless it's on sale or it's like under five dollars look i don't have it close by i have bought this i have been wanting this thing for forever let me see if i can find it real quick i have been wanting this thing for for when i say for forever i mean for forever for forever i can't find it also i'm gonna have a d stash y'all this is one of the things that i had wanted forever for forever for forever this david to tear and i had got this from not this particular one this was on the d stash you see how it's all tore up so it was like a group d stash i had wanted this one and he had another one for forever i bought it from joanne fabric um or either michael's I bought one and then I was like, I'm going to make this beautiful flower. I hate this. I This is one of my least favorite kinds of, excuse me, one of my least favorite kinds of um, flowers to make. I'm much more into the circle flowers and I can do what I need to do with it versus um, the other way around. So I was like, nah, we good. We good on that one. I bought a few things from Timu. Have been getting rid of craft master craft supplies, then buying new ones. Well, what you got rid of? Don't tell me no stamps or no um dies. Look, I'll tell you what I do want to buy. I would love to buy some Tim Holtz or Sizzik big dies because I like those a lot. I know that some people have been destashing them, but I don't want those particular ones because I have some like Deb Hoke. Y'all know who Deb is. She has, a, I don't know if she sold all her stuff yet or not, but she had a destash and she had some of those dies, right? I was like, oh, I want that die as a quote unquote backup. I was like, girl. Don't do that. You already got enough junk. Why are you doing this? So I didn't buy it because I didn't need it. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, what kind of stamps you getting rid of? You selling them or you just donate them? You probably just like, here, take this. 
get rid of it. All right, so we got our little base. Look at us. We're doing pretty good. We're going to try this. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work. <sighs> So what I'm doing is I'm taking the front and the back. Let's, let's pretend like we know what we're doing, ma'am. Let's pretend. I have another video of some stuff that someone sent me. I need to um, post it. I didn't have her YouTube thing. You donate them. That's nice. Very nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead. Now, it's still a little bit of... Oh, that's too low. Let's go up a little bit. I feel like I do better eyeballing it. There we go. Let's erase this because that was a little bit too low. So apparently we're going to use some ribbon at some point, right? At some point. Not right now, though. All right, let's pull out our stuff. Now... We're going to go ahead and cut this one out. I want to use this rest and relaxation. Some R&R. &R. Yeah, I was just talking about some stuff that I had donated. And um, the place that I donated to left me feeling kind of like, Ugh, I might not donate to them anymore. But we'll see. I really want to go to um, Ross and the, like the discount stores to see if the craft stuff is in there because, you know, I just want to see what they have. But the last time I went into Ross, I was slightly uh, disappointed because it wasn't the greatest. Let's see. I'm about to get silly with my spending just waiting for an address. First purchase will definitely be form related oh wow oh no that's what i want to tell you so one of the dreaming and i were talking right and i told y'all the first thing is steampunk and then the other thing is sewing related right so you know we're going back and forth let me see if i can show you without showing you her information we're going back and forth and she sends me these two dang pictures okay hold on let me save it because i'm like i really want to sew in and she probably because i didn't tell her this ninety nine thousand times she was like, girl, let me just hook you up and send you to the spot that you need to get this sewing stuff from. But look, yeah. So I think this is on Frantic Stamp. I didn't go and check. Because in my head, I can just, I could get these and put these on my scanning cut. And then look at this. This is so pretty, right? Can y'all see it? Yeah, I figured as much. Because, you know, she live on Frantic Stamper and Stamp, uh, what is it, crap, crap, scrapbook.com. I want to order some stuff from Timu. What you get from Timu, um, Samara? I'm going to go ahead and mess this side up. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. We have ink for that, okay? And we have, I pulled, look, I pulled out my, <laughs> my washi that's in a few tubes few tubes we're gonna go ahead and do this yeah i want to get it but i don't i want it i want the i want it but i'm i don't, I don't know so like for example i got money for my birthday right from a few people so thank y'all so very much for giving me your money i appreciate it and when i went to michael's and i bought the stuff i was like is this a good enough gift? Like, I'm tripping, right? I was tripping about that. But I was like, yes, whatever you want is your money. Now you can spend it, you know, spend it how you want it. So I bought those things. And then I was like, did I really need those cases? But I was like, yeah, because you can do whatever you want with the cases. Frank stuff has fast shipping and the prices are reasonable. You know, I have purchased something from her before because of Wonder and Dreamer. Uh, five, five, five. I don't remember what it was that I got from from Frantic Stamper, but I did buy some stuff from there. I like one uh, Stitch One Two Three dot com. They're in my opinion are inexpensive. Let me see. 
My phone don't want to open. Even though it says stitch, like you would think it's like sewing or cross stitching, they do have craft stuff. And I feel like the prices are, you know, equally comparable. And shipping is 3049 cents in the United States. So like, see, I just put sewing stamp and you see how it says um, so much fun. This is, and it's a penny black, you know, penny black is not cheap. And then this one right here is um, matchbox sewing stamp from Art Impressions. And this one right here is, can y'all see, is $5. So, but I, I'm going to look at it again. Um, I'm going to go on her site. I try not to go shopping too much because then I'll start just buying junk for no reason, like not a real purpose. All right, so we're going to use some of these stickers. And I think I have some nautical stickers out already. I do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got these right here. I don't know when I turned into a sticker person, but I am definitely a sticker person. Like the person's like, oh, I got a sticker for that. You know, like there's an app for that. I got a sticker for that. And I think we're going to stick with this one right here. Some seashells. We're not going to be mermaids today. It's more about just the beach, not mermaids on the beach. All right. So we got rest and relaxation. And then we're going to put something like right here. And I think we're going to use, we're going to put this on the front cover. Oceanside Beach Rental. So I'm going to put that right here. Heather, I feel like you haven't purchased anything because you've been in the midst of carrying your stuff from one spot to the next. Like, does that really count as not buying anything? Sell away. I do want to tell you, I saw someone show a picture of Graphic 45, a nautical theme Graphic 45. I was like, is this new? Because it has to go into my collection. So, yeah, I feel like that would be, that's kind of cheaty, Heather. I'm just saying, you know. But if you want it as a as a win, we'll we'll let you make it. No, we won't. We won't let her make it, will we, y'all? No, I don't think so because that would be a lie. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put uh, <laughs> this little seahorse right here. And might as well just go sticker crazy, right? Oh, hello. Again, whenever I make these little books, I always think about someone going to do something nautical thing. Maybe you go to a water park or you go into the beach. Um, I'm not a beach person anymore. I used to be a beach person, kind of, when I lived in Europe. Not so much anymore. All right, so we're going to use this sunny, oh, beautiful day. Yes, yeah, a beautiful day. I like Echo Park. I know some people that don't like Echo Park, but these stickers are sturdy, very sturdy. But I want to make sure I don't rub my face or anything, get any oil or glue, glue globs on there. And that's off. I feel like these would be really good little books to give people for birthday Christmas gifts. Like, you know, you make a set of three maybe Chris um a Christmas one a birthday one and something else I like Echo Park they do have good quality and prices better than most yes now I used this is gonna sound crazy when I tell you this but I used to be anti-download paper and stuff from the website from different websites and then I was like well you can size it up to make it have a big you want it you can do certain things that you can't do with the the store brand, but I do agree that um, they have good quality and it's not as expensive. And recently, I didn't partake in it, but they had their annual warehouse sale. So if you were into that, you could have got stuff from the warehouse, right? All right, so I got this one also, Stick Abilities. And we're going to put, um, <laughs> summer's almost over, but we're going to put this little thirsty summer thing on here. Um 
you know, I always tell you that my favorite paper company is definitely Die Cuts with a View. Um, but I feel like Die Cuts with a View is a uh, hard to harder to find than I like for it to be. Now I normally don't decorate the back of any book anymore. I used to do a lot of like stuff, but I'm like, if you're gonna put this in something, a little thing, you don't want a whole bunch of dimensional stuff coming off because it could break off. I'm just rubbing it down some. And this was some cards, and you see how you can see like this little. It looks like a beach, in my opinion, it looks like sand and water, different um, colors. So I like I liked that when I was picking the thing we were going to use. And so now we're just going to do a little bit of embellishing. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take it and fold it over. I tend to do this when I want to put something else in here. Okay, so I'm going to burnish this. And we need to cut it down because it's definitely not even. I tried to make sure that no green was okay, so life is good. There we go. Did y'all hear about Pee Wee Herman? Can you believe that? I mean, he was 70 and he, um, I don't know. I remember Pee Wee Herman. He used to do that dance. <laughs> I never knew that he was a quote unquote comedian until I read about some of his life. But I think I missed the Pee Wee Herman, like for real, for real era. I didn't go and watch Pee Wee's Playhouse on TV. Yeah, he was 70, like 70. Wow. Like when you think about it, could you can you even think, oh my goodness, I've known Pee Wee Herman for forever. Like if you think about it like that, like that's your life, you've known this person. We're gonna take a don't do a white sheet of paper. Nah, let's get hip and do a different color that we already have cut. Do we have a sheet of paper that's cut? wide enough for this let's see we do not we do not ma'am we do not okay we do not we do not no he did not look 70 at all he looked like he was he looked young like he had some good genes um for as far as age and i can't tell you about the rest of the stuff because you know he and i we never we didn't know each other that well like, I knew him and he didn't know me. That's how well we knew each other. You know what I'm saying? But he did have some um, pretty good genes. So we're going to just go ahead and use our uh, uh, index card. So if you are a crafter and you need any supplies now for junk journaling, besides junk and stuff that you get in the mail, now will be a good time to get it because back to school stuff is on sale. All right, so we're going to take this. this over I think that I didn't think I needed the scoreboard today since I didn't I wasn't making a base of anything but I could have been wrong I could have been mistaken I'm hoping to start a junk journal before then. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. Now, I feel like this looks a bit weird. Only reason why I say I feel like it feels a little bit weird because we have all this busy stuff going on in the background. So what we're going to do, 
Let me see if we can cheat. I don't know if I really want to cheat the system like that. No, I don't. I don't feel like doing all that. Let's see. We'll put this to the side. We'll have to do that for another day. I don't feel like um, attempting to fix it to make it look decent. You know what? I don't think I should have punched a hole here. That's okay, though. So we got the front. Go ahead and put a little bit more stickers on there. Oceanside Beach. What did it say? Beach rental. Let's put this... Sunglasses? Sunglasses. Are the sunglasses coming right up? All right, so we got this. Our first page is some writing stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and make a... Get a tuck spot. Now, what are we tucking? I don't know. Some pictures, maybe? I always feel like you need a tuck spot or something. What is it going to be about, Heather? Your journey from one area to the next? How are your animals doing? How's your brother-in-law doing? Does he miss y'all? I mean, besides getting punched or slapped, beat up, <laughs> fighting. When you said that, I was like, ooh, that was funny. But really, brothers and sisters, siblings fight a lot, right? They be beating up each other all the time. I don't have a sibling to know, but I feel like if I did, I would probably get beat up a lot if I had an older brother or sister. So I'm kind of glad I don't know that life. <laughs> Here comes the sun. All is well. Puppy is enjoying the warm weather, I bet. So let's see, if we did this, we can make this as such. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and put these boats right here. Whenever I put these washi tape down, I just put it down kind of haphazardly because it's just washi tape. It's not designed to be the focal point in my head but I like using washi tape in um, these kind of little folders and I pulled out this mermaid but I don't think we're going to use the mermaid we're going to use just some sea creatures that we know uh, we've we've seen in real life before some of us have seen whales dolphins seahorses you know all that good stuff And I feel like the colors match. These came from Hobby Lobby. And one came from Michael's. Let's see which one. The, this one came from Michael's. And this one's Hobby Lobby. So that's, it's, it was on clearance. I don't know if they, they probably have it. Because I've seen them put stuff on clearance and then rebrand it with a different price on it. So, yeah. All right. Although this little mermaid would look good down the strip. We're not going to put her. We're going to put some stickers. I really want to cover this up. But then I don't. Maybe I should just need. I need a. Where that card go? We're going to take this thing. And we're just going to do a, t a tag real quick. Somebody can't cut straight. I wonder who that is. I think it's me. But. You probably like, I can't cut straight either. There we go. There we go. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. So now let's pull out our blue. Salty Ocean is probably my most favorite distress color to date. I haven't bought any of the new ones except for one. 
and it, I think it was the orange, the the orange one that they had, the flamingo one, or it was the red one. No, it was like the fall color. It was last year, year before last. I think I drove all over looking for it. Went to Dag on Joanne Fabric because Joanne seems this is wrong. Seems to have more current stuff than Michaels. Hobby Lobby, I don't know. Sometimes they are, and sometimes they're not. So I'm gonna take this, this little sheet of paper, like this. Clip, turn, clip, clip. All right. Nope, not even in my life. The pins crooked for life. Listen, I cannot. If we get caught and they say we'll let you make it. If you can draw, cut a straight line, I'm like, y'all, we might as well ask somebody to put some money on our commissary because it ain't happening. It is not happening at all. I'm doing it on both sides because we're going to make, we're putting this in our little tuck spot. So the recipient might want to write some lines and put a little picture or something on the other side. I'm always imagining how people decorate these books. I don't do that decorating stuff anymore so I don't know all right so here we go we're going to put um, little fish I know I said fish and grab the seashell but it wanted to come off. It was like, please put me on there. I really want to go on some projects, please. <laughs> it makes me think of the movie Sausage Party. I've never seen the movie Sausage Party, but it makes me think of that movie. Because they have like talking fruit and everybody's like, please buy me, buy me, buy me. And then you buy it and they get eaten and they don't know they're supposed to be getting eaten. That's At least that's what the uh, trailer shows, right? Okay. I know I've seen crafters craft and draw straight lines. I'm like, you're not human. You're not human. You're not human. <laughs> All right, so we got this. Bam. There we go. Yep. Bam. Good to go. Right here, I think. Beautiful day is good enough. Y'all think we need to add anything else to it? Time to relax. See, I don't want to put this here. Cause I want the I, I just want pictures. I just want them to put their pictures. What y'all think? Y'all think we good? I'll put the ribbon on later. The string, the string. The strings. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, y'all, I think we done. Yep. We are done for today. So I hope that you all like this project. Very fun. We use uh, three card bases. We need to put some glue right here. Squeeze that glue out a little bit more, please, ma'am, next time. I'll just put something on it, but yeah. So this is our project for today. Um, I'm not sure what next Tuesday is, but I, hold on, let me just, let me make sure before I misspeak. Calendar, let's look at the calendar. Hold on. Hold on. 
school. Come on, phone. School starts soon. I can't remember what day it starts. Lord have mercy. And my phone keeps plopping to another thing. Give me one second. All right, so I'm just um, pulling up the count. I thought it was the 13th, but it looks weird. So the 8th, which is next Monday. What? No, that's 2022 to 23. That's wrong. I don't know. But I'll tell y'all. I School starts next week. It starts on the... Th it can't be the 13th because 13th is a weekend. So it does start on the 14th? It starts on a Tuesday is what I'm trying to tell y'all. And we have meet the teacher on the 7th. Yeah. So then I think it starts five days later. From there. I wish Chris was here. She'd know off the top of her head. She keeps up with that kind of stuff. I tend to not. <laughs> Let me see, I can tell you. She sent me a message. Not today, but she sent me a message with the calendar. She was like 45 more days or something silly like that. Anywho, if school starts next in the two weeks, I won't be um, stream sharing. I won't be on here. But I'll let y'all know because next week we're good to go. I have an appointment the following day. So anyway, this is what we made. It's We need something right here. Let's do... Hello, see, I don't want to put hello summer there because we had this anyway. Yeah, I don't know. So school starts on the 17th there. So I will start the 17th. Hold on. I will start on a funky day. So yours starts on a Thursday. So then I will start on the 15th, which is a Tuesday. Yeah, I believe it is. And my app, the app that we use for the school is being bonkers right now. So I really can't tell you. But anyway. Uh, good morning. Hope you all are doing well. Good morning, Chocolate City Sam. Hope your day is going amazing, madam. We just finished our little book. I'll show it to you because we're going to be uh, heading out to do some other nonsense for the day. So this is our little book that we made today. It's a summer theme book, considering today is the first day of August. Can you believe that? It's the rest and relaxation. You can write your whatever. We got a little tuck spot right here then we have picture picture this is a picture album for real for real for when you go to the beach or a uh, sea thing you could even go like if you lived here sea world and you could put pictures in there from there but that is that for today thank you so very very much i appreciate it i want to say thank you all for watching i will see you on the third it'll be a three and a third video um again congratulations to heather she just finished her house buying and she'll be back in the crafting world making some amazing products. So I want to say thank y'all for watching. And until next time, happy crafting.